How to start in real estate with $1,000. Let me tell you, first of all, save your money because I'm gonna show you a little bit about how to buy real estate in subsequent videos with little or no money. But today we wanna to talk about how to start in real estate with $1,000. So for example, I wanna give you a little lesson on personal development. If you have $1,000, I want you to take 10% of that money and I want you to buy something to begin to educate yourself. So buy a $100 course in real estate and start to learn a little bit about real estate. Now what you wanna do when you have very little money is you wanna leverage that to the maximum capability. How do you do that? You start out by asking people for help that are in the real estate business already. What is that called? That's called mirror and matching. What we're starting here is your new process mastery. You're starting a process of real estate investing. How do you start by doing that? You mirror and match people that have already successfully have done that. That's what you're actually doing right now. You're mirror and modeling what I'm telling you right now. And you're gonna start off by educating yourself and building a dream team. So the first thing that you wanna do in real estate is go out and meet a real estate agent. There's thousands in your neighborhood. You could actually go on Google right now and you can Google real estate agents or top real estate offices in your area. And what I want you to do is go out there and meet a real estate agent. You should actually go to the office because you may even want to consider as part of your education to become a real estate agent. And that would be really cool also because it will give you access to the multiple listing service which enables you to find out all kinds of information about property but what i really want to stay focused on is building your dream team about starting in real estate so who are some of the people that you need to help out in real estate well obviously real estate brokers and agents what do they do they help you find property they sell property they find property they know market areas they can actually go out and find those properties for you once you get clear on the type of properties that you're looking for. And that's also part of the process. But initially, as you meet new people in your dream team, these brokers and agents, you're going to start to look at properties and you're going to see the type of properties that you want to invest in. They may be single family homes. They may be two family homes. They may be multifamily homes, which are more than four families. So as you start this process of meeting people in the real estate market and industry, you start to evolve in the types of projects that you're going to look for. But at this infancy stage, when you only have $1,000, you want to continue to leverage that money. As I was telling you, as you meet these people, do not be afraid. You ask them for help. Tell them, I'm just getting started in real estate and I'm not real familiar with it. And like I'm telling you today, they're going to actually ask you to go out and educate yourself. You're on this station today learning about real estate. Go out there, do your research, and then start to implement. There is so many things that you can do when you only have $1,000. And the key that I want to tell you about is the sources available to learn real estate are insurmountable. The number of sources are in the hundreds. The question is whether or not you are going to have the resourcefulness to go out and find those sources. So let me repeat. Each year you want to take, if you only have $1,000 each year, take 10% of the money you have and invest in education. The other thing that you're going to do in mirror and modeling is you're going to start to build your ecosystem of people that can start to train you. These people that you're mirroring modeling, like myself, don't be afraid to try to get in touch with people like us. I'm actually just like you. I put my pants on one leg at a time. I started with $1,000 one time and I learned how to build real estate with no money down, but it takes a little time to get started. And it starts out exactly what you're asking today. How do I get started with $1,000? And I will tell you, it's all about education. So let me get into some of the other people that can help you out in the process. As you get into real estate, you're looking at finding real estate. So finding real estate requires you gathering data. What kind of data do you want to gather? Well, number one, you want to look at market areas. In market areas, you start to look at what is the investment criteria. 
First thing you may say is, I want to buy properties between a certain price range. Let's say, for example, you want to buy properties between $100,000 and $200,000. That is an item that you would then track. I want to buy properties between one and $200,000. Like I said before, you may have selected single family. And you may have decided that you want to go into a certain county. So if you're living in New Jersey, let's say that you're looking for properties 100 to 200,000 in Middlesex County, single family, and maybe two families. So now you start to have what I call as a project criteria. So when you go and meet that agent, you can go, hey, I'm just getting started in real estate, but I know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for one and two family homes in Middlesex County between 100 and 200,000 dollars. And when that agent gets that information, they actually go in to what's called the multiple listing service. They put that search data into the multiple listing service, and what does it do? It pops out a list of properties that they then present to you that you can begin to look at. That agent is gonna help you find properties. Who is someone else involved in real estate? For example, there's appraisers. When you go and start looking at a property, People were telling you, hey, that property's worth 250, that property's worth 300, that property you just overpaid. The appraiser is the expert in real estate that actually tells you what the property's worth. That's important because as you get into real estate, you're gonna start to learn about after repair value, which in a lot of cases is the appraised value. So an appraiser is someone that could be very, very helpful. Another person in the real estate industry that you want to get friendly with is a lawyer. Now, there's all different kinds of lawyers, but you're obviously going to need a lawyer when you close. In some states, they don't even use lawyers, but I always recommend using legal counsel because I'm not an expert and they see things that we don't see, right? And you want to surround yourself with a dream team of experts so that they know more than you. Don't be afraid to surround yourself with people that are better than you. Who else is involved in real estate investing? You have title companies. What is a title company? A title company ensures that the property that you're buying doesn't have any problems associated with it. A property you buy may have a lien from 20 years ago that someone didn't pay back and all of a sudden it pops up and you're ready to close on that property and all of a sudden they want you to pay that 20 grand and you're not responsible for that money. These are the things and the reasons why you surround yourself with experts. And I can't tell you enough that you can do so much with $1,000 because it's all in the mindset. And the key here is save your money. Start to look at how you can build a real estate portfolio using other people's money and other people's experience and start to educate yourself around that. Don't be afraid to ask people like myself to help you out. Start to build your dream team, the title company, the appraiser, the real estate brokers, the lawyers, the home inspectors that can come in and do all the things that are concerning you. And then probably you're saying, Ken, you forgot about the guy that's going to give you the money. That's right. Hard money lenders private lenders, all of these people you start to surround yourself and it doesn't matter how much money you have, you can actually start real estate with little or no money down. I'm Ken Van Lu. Take action. Check out KenVanLu.com, the modern wealth building formula and make it a great day.